Okay, normally I would do this off camera because it can be a little bit of trouble. But since this is for Tony and I really want to show him what it, what kind of problems I run into. Oh, okay. So I just gave it a little snug twist. Hopefully not spinning on this to gouge this up because I don't want to do that. And as you can see, um, okay, this is the steam side, obvious. Okay, there is a disc to prevent steam from blasting straight up onto this rubber disc. So uh, this needs to be all clear. Uh, we'll take, take our uh, little uh, thing here so I don't poke myself. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is all, you can see this is all calcified from the steam. But it wasn't sealed. So I, I bet you this valve was still working. I mean, sure, eventually it will clog up. But it was probably working at the time. Now, this was a little stuck in there, so that may have caused problems for this to go up and down. Let's check if this goes up and down. Okay, it, it seems to do that. Yeah, so it was working. Maybe not the best, but it was working. Now, I'm going to have to take this out by pressing this plunger all the way through. Okay. And as you can see, oops, okay, so it's sealed all the way across. Now, you see how clean that is? That means this thing never leaked. So that tells me right off that there's no leaks in this. Everything's nice, clean. The rubber is nice and black and shiny. And there's no water stains except what maybe came down the shaft. You can see it comes down the shaft a little bit. So that was something external that was causing the steam damage here that was something external not this valve this valve was not leaking and you saw how well sealed that was so all i have to do is i'm just going to put this back together again okay if i want to i could put a little wd-40 but i can add that later and you see this this is all sealed clean Let's just wipe a little bit of, of the grit off but as long as it's sealed all the way around, which I believe it is, okay, I'm just going to get a little bit of this grit off. But I'm going to give it to Tony just like this because um, uh, we just need to get his machine up and running. And granted, uh, if I had the buffer wheel going on my grinder, I would just wire buff this out and make it all nice and shiny. But for now, quick fix. We're just going to do this, okay? Now, he will have two. Hopefully, he'll have two. And he might get his other one working. So, before he puts this one in, he might want to buff this up. You know, just give it a light buff. You'll see it. It'll turn all shiny brass color. Okay. And you can do the same in here. Watch out for the edge. Don't nick the edge because that's where the rubber seals are. And this stuff... You can just, as long as the hole is clear, all this stuff, all this other stuff doesn't really matter. Just make sure you stay away from that edge. The edge has to be nice and clean. Okay. You can air blow that out. Okay. And this is just to prevent the hot water from steaming straight up against the, against the uh, uh, rubber disc. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we know this doesn't leak. Okay, and we'll put it right in. Give it a little, make sure there's no grit in there. Okay, and we know that moves. Okay, so we'll go ahead and reassemble this. Um, oh, okay, I'll just do a fast reassemble. Okay, and the four screws. And you see all these tiny little parts. By the time you get everything together, you don't want to have any extra parts, okay? You want to make sure every part gets in there. Okay. And as you can see, it's a little tricky because it's real tiny and I got fat fingers now. Okay. So anyway, four, four screws. Uh, drop the lever in. Drop the lever in. 
put in your uh, your posts with the nylon put it in from this side this side put it in that way make sure the levers on the post and the hole you know have it go all the way through oops there you go okay and then of course the nylon and then the c-clip make sure this goes up and down put on your micro switch uh, here right put on your micro switch with the cover and then you see it's pressing against that lever right here there's a micro switch okay um i'm i'm not going to do the rest uh i'll loosely put it together 